Welcome to another vlog. Literally have 45 minutes until the sun comes down. It's um, it's sprinkling. Tide should be coming up in probably three hours. And I'm just at my local. Um, I've got the new bait junkies. So I've got the uh, grub and the minnow, both in motor oil color. I really want to give it a quick go and see. Sorry guys, I'm just stepping in among some rocks. See if they actually do the damage. I'm pretty sure they are. They're quite similar to Z-Man, except it has a bit of scent or amino acids added to it. But yeah, they're quite similar, the grubs. The minnow is a bit different. Sort of reminds me of the Slim Swim. It's probably equivalent to the Slim Swim. But yeah, we're at the spot now. We're just gonna give it a quick go before the sun comes down and see if we can um, land anything, eh? Literally have 45 minutes until the sun comes down. Like I said, it's really low tide. But he's gonna come up in the next four hours and it's a big king tide, so I think it's at 1.8. I'll show you the plastics I bought. Also got him in Bloodworm, but I'll just grab the two with me right now just to I've just packed lightly. But that's a bait junkie grub, two and a half inch in motor oil. And that's the uh you know, I don't know which one I'm gonna try first, but you know what, we'll give the grub a go and then if nothing's biting, we'll put the minnow and see if we can land something. They haven't made a two inch version, but I think I think the reason why they haven't done it is because you can actually just get your scissors and trim it down to a two inch, which is why they have that logo there, I'm pretty sure. So if you if you just chop it down, you can trim it to a two inch. But we won't be doing that today, we'll just keep it at two and a half. Oh, that looks better so it's quite uh sticky eh? like it's got more of a thicker feel than a z-man z-man's a bit more lighter this feels a bit more heavier i don't even know what that means but that's that's the only way i can explain it let's give this bait junkie a go so i've got the 120th on usually i use 116th but i don't have all my tackle on me today so i did find these jig heads in my car hence why i'm using them very snaggy here I'm hoping I don't get snagged but I don't want to sit there retying when I only have 40 minutes to literally fish and catch a fish or two ah uh, guess what I'm snagged ah oh, jeez man this place is I love this place I've got it out and now I'm back in Just bait fish all along here getting chased down well, probably Taylor. Oh, I thought I had a flatty for a second, but I've got a snag and I just made it worse by putting pressure on it. Now it's probably the quickest double uni I've ever done in my life. I'm going to try the minnow now, considering I got snagged. So let's just go ahead and rig this up. Very soft bait, eh? It's a very soft bait. A bit hard to get in, but not too bad looks about right looks about right good cast good cast am i snagged again oh no way pump shit i don't know what it is man it's a joke just not lose it i lost my leader for sure for sure i've lost my leader yep Got snagged twice now. It's my third plastic already that I've lost, that I'm using, sorry. I've figured out there's a pole there somewhere. So I'm just gonna cast away from that pole. Guys, I don't think there was a snag, eh? Something pulled on it. Oh, straight away, look at that, on the drop. On the drop. That was a good take. Maybe a flatty, I hit him right on the head. If that's a flatty, I've hit him right on the head. Ah, uh, no, it's not. It's a tailor. My best friends. My best friends, eh? Tailor on, on the minnow. Don't chew it up, mate. Don't chew it up. No. Bastard. So he's taking that minnow on the drop. 
without hesitation and the damage zero so there you go no damage to the minnow so the only thing I can catch at the moment is Taylor recently I think I'm just gonna cast more in the shallows so maybe if we just point point our way down here might change some few things all right we're gonna push real close to the to the mangroves there I really want to see if a brim is going to come out and smash it. I reckon there can be some brim around there. Or a flatty sitting in there. I could get snagged, but it is what it is, eh? We've got to give it a crack. Let's give it a crack, eh? If I was a brim, I'll be hanging around there. Why not? There's got to be a flatty around. Has to be a flat here. Oh yeah, yep. I think that's a brim, man. I think I've got a brim. It's taking some drag. Yeah, that's a nice brim. Seen some silver there. Just hanging here. I knew it would be around here. I bloody knew it. There we go. Nice brimbo. How good's that? He's a great, good size as well. Love it. I'm the bait junkie. How good. My net's all the way there. Hey, yeah, that's a good size, man. That is a great size brim. I've picked him right up here. Just feeding off these oysters, I reckon. Don't, don't rub me off. Don't rub me off, please. Just take it easy, mate. He's a good size brim. Might be able to lift him. Uh, he's pushing. He's legal. He's definitely legal. We've got him here. This is not a good idea. Yep. <sighs> love it, love it, love it. Crack the code. We've cracked the code. And that is a lovely Cooks River brim right there. On the bait junkie minnow. That little tail action, I reckon, got it. There we go guys, we'll give him a measure as well. There we have it guys, a nice Cooks River brim on the uh, Bait Junkie two and a half inch minnow. That is a great size brim, we haven't measured him yet, but I would say he'll probably go 30 something, probably low 30s. He took a rod on the um, on the edge where the oysters and the uh, shallows are. I probably knew I was going to get him, get a brim if I was to get one, it would have been around there. I don't think it'll be out in the open, but nevertheless, have a look at that on the bay junkie. Give him a give him a measure, and then we'll release him. Beautiful fish. I reckon he'll push thirty something. Yeah, just as I thought. So he's gone 30, 34. Yeah, thirty-four. Not a bad brim at all. 34 and probably 32 to fork. So we'll give him a nice release. Oh, not a good release, but he's swimming. Sorry about that. So yeah, like I said, guys, I was casting out there. I was getting snagged. He led me to come down this way. And I thought I'll cast it in the shallows and work it towards the edge here. And as you can see, there's a lot of oysters. So I thought maybe a brim will be hanging around the edges. And there we have it. We've made it happen. I only had 40 minutes. We'll give it a few more casts, see if we can get, it, get anything else, but I'm pretty stoked with that. And yeah, the bait junkie minnow, two and a half inch in the motor oil. Beautiful. Um, hope you liked that video. That was a nice brim. Like I said, it was only gonna be a half an hour to 45 minute session. And I just want to see if I can make it happen. And I have, I've caught a nice brim on that Bay Junkie Minnow. And I was in the motor oil two and a half inch. So they do work. I'm really happy with that minnow. Sort of, if you want to give it a comparison, it probably replicates the, uh, the Slim Swim in the Z-Man. But I guess the bonus with these um, Bay Junkies is you get that um, amino acid flavor and scent, which is what it says on the back. So you don't have to sit there 
putting anything on there. And yeah, hope you liked the video. Make sure you click the link, subscribe, leave a like, leave a dislike. You know the go. Anyway, stay tuned for more. I know this is a short video, but hopefully I can bring some more content out soon. And yeah, peace out guys.